On March 29th this year, a powerhouse movie called Unplanned hit theaters in the United States. Unplanned is the true story of Abby Johnson, a woman who had two abortions herself and was a star planned parenthood employee who had her life literally turned upside down when she saw a 13 week ultrasound guided abortion. The movie has had stunning box office success, doubling predictions on its opening weekend when it brought in 6.4 million USD and it's been one of the highest grossing independent films of 2019 so far. It received a 92% audience rating on Rotten Tomatoes, has received an A plus cinema score rating, meaning that it has strong word of mouth business, repeated viewings, and the best industry guarantee of box office success. It's also brought in $18 million USD to date. In spite of the success, to the surprise of many, it has not yet been picked up in Canada. In an attempt to get the ball rolling, a Citizen Go petition was launched on April 11th by a grassroots organization called NCLN, calling on Cineplex, who owns an estimated 80% of theaters in Canada to make it happen and get unplanned on the screens. To date, that petition has now reached almost 200,000 people signing it from all over the world. And in addition to this, on May 14th, the 50 year anniversary of the legalization of abortion in Canada, a free private screening, which took place in Edmonton at the Edmonton Expo Center, attracted a surprising 2,800 people. So many Canadians wanted to get in to see the movie that the host actually delayed the screening start time for a full hour to give people time to get in the building. Cars were lined up for 30 to 45 minutes around the block just to park. And in the end, not everyone got in. This was such a clear display of the hunger for this film. So with market desire and a solid guarantee of financial success, according to market ratings, why would distributors not pick it up. Well, if there's any doubt as to why the strange delay, one distributor clearly stated that it is because of content. The truth is that Abby Johnson's story displaying, uh, displaying the reality of abortion from an insider's perspective is uncomfortable. On May 19th, a Cineplex boycott was launched under the website CanadaWantsUnplanned.ca, calling Canadians who want to see the movie to number one, boycott Cineplex, number two, email them to let them know that they're being boycotted, and number three, to share about the movement. In response, Cineplex is deflecting the blame currently to distributors, but industry professionals point out the obvious that if Cineplex really wanted to respond to this massive outcry from consumers for the film, that they would find a way to get it on their screens. They could really make it happen. Given that Cineplex owns an estimated 80% of Canadian theaters, many are now viewing this as a freedom of speech issue and pointing out that because of its influence in the entertainment industry and in Canada at large, they have a moral obligation, a duty to consumers to treat this film in the same way that they would treat any other film with the same success record. Who knows where this will all end up, but one thing that we know for sure is that many Canadians want to see unplanned and that as the controversy grows so does the desire to see the film at a time when most Canadians don't know that there's no law on abortion and therefore you can abort a baby right up to full-term pregnancy in Canada in a time when the voices of women who have been hurt by abortion or who have been pressured into abortion against their will are being disempowered and silenced in a time when Justin Trudeau, Andrew Scheer, the Federal Minister of Status of Women, the Honourable Miriam Monsef, when Ontario MPP Sam Osterhoff and many others are making national headlines on the abortion issue, it's time for a movie like Unplanned, which accurately depicts the reality of what abortion is through the telling of a true story. If we are going to support abortion, at any point of pregnancy at taxpayer expense in Canada, then it's good to know what exactly we're supporting, right? So if we're going to be a nation that values freedom of speech, then industries need to treat respectful voices with just that, equal respect. I believe that Canadians deserve the choice to see Unplanned. I wanna see Unplanned come to Canada. How about you? 
If you do, I want to encourage you to check out CanadaWantsUnplanned.ca and hey, also take a moment to email your MP, your MPP or MLA and let them know that you care about this issue. Until the next breaking news commentary or highlight segment, have a great day everyone. Let's keep working together to build a better Canada for the future.